buddy. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hello everybody, my name is Little Brody welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I just need to set this here because it's not where we left off. Because I accidentally... Because I thought... I thought... I thought the background music was still playing. So... So I checked. And of course, it's in the game. It's supposed to play here. But okay. Anyways, so we left off with some incredibly cute girls. And her next... Natsuki's well, next sentence was, let me get. So let me guess. And now she's saying Marga's boyfriend fights. And I'm I think I'm ready for my reading skills. You know, I probably messed up kinda of, kind of a bunch of times on the other words here. But anyways, let's get it started. What? No I'm not. Nansuki. The girl with the sore attitude. Her name is apparently Nansuki. It is one I don't recognize. Oh, <laughs> her small favorite makes me think she's probably a first year. I anyway, this is not Zuki. Urgentic, urgentic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. I I it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid. Is it timid or timid? Seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Stansuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Moni at the classroom and decided to come to check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know, sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into her. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why did you come sit down, Demonia? The girls have a few desks arranged on the table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. You know, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. What does that mean with the Monica talking? Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we ga graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki reductively agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Everyone turns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each list before sitting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't have a doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh uh I guess. <laughs> don't don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh? Th that's not Insulting really looks for me. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and rain might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. You really feel these smells just stuff in relief. So, Demonia, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how well I read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! I'm about to quit quiet to myself, half joking. <laughs> Not so that suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I'm not sure either, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking out to see your smile. Anyway, 
What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chooses to move over teacup with her finger. By fair, it's usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a good organ world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and tiny. Timid. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Since the moment I walked in, it's obvious, by the way, her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stores with social elements usually mirrors others as well. I read that wrong. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to that made me level. At this rate, I might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Ha <laughs> ha I expect from you. I expect that from you, Yuri. Suit your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? This story makes me think, or takes me to another world, and I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just you <laughs> talked so to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Monsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Monsuki, you write your own poems. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why do you share them sometimes? Okay. <laughs> no. Monsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like, th like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I just didn't have no sneaky suit feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to one itself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your really near abilities and not <laughs> showing even the deepest regions of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you share some of your work, you can set an example, and help not so you can feel uncomfortable enough to share hers. Da -da -da. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all said it's not for it. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Da 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 question mark. I Yuri look quiz quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh, um da da da. Uh I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. Which really start fun activities for all of us to participate together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president. After all, I can't talk. I seriously can't talk. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now we have a motive member. It seems like a good step for us to take. Do you go as well, dear Monica? Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we've seen the most important topic, I politely come forth with that's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, that is my train of thought. All these girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, sorry, I thought, hmm. <laughs> I love Natsuki. Eh? Oh. Um, her tail fell off. Her tail fell off. It happens all the time. Her tail falls off all the time. I think it's supposed to do that, but... Okay. Feels like strange glimpses 
perform on like a tune deck at me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Melania. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one, we'll order the fourth festival. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision where it's like this? I feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Where you should. Excuse me. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if everything poems. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls! Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the Logic Club. Oh my god, the girls. <gasps> Oh, I slide up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Demonia? Yeah. Oh, I really mean it. It would be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, you really just left after all of this. I would be super pissed. Demonia, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. Really amazing. I will do everything I give you to great time, okay? Oh, give me that great time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone will love tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. My audio looks over at me once more. Well, yeah, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Yeah, can I really impress the class on my medical fighting skills? I already feel the exotic willing inside me. You know, all the girls continue to chit chat as Jerry cleans up the tea set. Like something I'm wondering about me then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait! With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls Matsuki, Yori, and of course, Monica, will I ever be like, be happy spending every day at the school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, let's just need to make the most of my uh, circumstances. Uh, probably read that. I probably read that wrong, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that's sort of the right problem tonight. Yeah, I'm like, wait, I'm yeah, like a special poem. Would you like to read it? Uh, sure. I can't convince myself to go fit the really when I'm the happiest I ever. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Um, that was an interesting poem. Okay. That was an interesting poem. Okay. Okay. Uh, strawberry. Uh, hope. Uh, shopping. Uh, dark. I'm just going one by one. There, three to six. Okay. Kiss. Fluffy. Rainbow! Climax? Oh, okay. Special. Frightening. Music. Games. Grief. Together. Promise. Boof. Boof. For you. Childhood. Was that Siori? Was that Siori's head on a piece of paper? Okay then. That, that got me. <laughs> That was creepy. It was Yori's head on a piece of paper. 
Okay then. Um. Does that does that happen before? Cause okay, I watched the Mark player play this game, and Mark Fire never got that skin. I don't think he. Ha I don't think he haven't got that. But I think was that did I find an Easter egg, or was just or or is that just part of the game? I don't know. Hi again, Demonia. Glad to see you didn't run away then on us, huh? Nah, don't worry. This might look straight for you, but at least they keep a word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was not the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Don't do that! Don't do that! I'm watching you. Crazy girl. Thanks for keeping your promise, Demonia. How is it too overwhelming? I've been, I'm watching your face. Making you divide head first in literature when you're not, you can just do it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, come on. Like, it deserves any slack. I just noticed. I just noticed the girls, they're a bit tilted. They're not straight as they used to be. They're a bit tilted. I see that. What? You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but you don't take it seriously and then we'll see at the end of it. Hi. Ah, uh, Monica! You're blocking the way? Natsuki certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps... What is that saying? <laughs> Meg okay, you know what? I'll just say it. I'll just say it. What is it? Migma. Makes sense. <laughs> Collection in the classroom. But. Monica! Oh, thank you. Why is Yuri so big all of a sudden? I just noticed that. Like. Like, her hair is half of the screen right now. Now, let's see if I'm still stuck between saying Monica and Mig Migma. Migma is literature. Oh, okay, so I did say it right. It's really defeated as he pops up back in your seat. I'm sorry, Demonia. Well, make sure to put your in comfort first, okay? You already shoot some students <laughs> because of once. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might interest in picking up a book to read? Well, you can only say any other way. Like you said, I'm at the club about it. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. W wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, you don't really want to. Yeah, forget. I just said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I just want to try to be part of this club. So you might don't even often. I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Oh, uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, it's very smooth and all. That should help you get started on something you might like. Or you just a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so we should give it to your attention. Even though I don't usually read. We, we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How's this girl accidentally being so cute? If she picked up a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I'll let you feel me take the book. Phew. Well, keep it at your own pace. I look forward to reading what you think. The room changed. The room changed. I saw that. Don't. You can't fool me, game. I saw the room change. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already in the book. I can't help but notice an intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, now so he's rumbling around in the closet. Ugh. You're not seeing every expression sign for being in the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Uh, you looking for. Okay. You looking for somebody in there? Fucking. Monica! Okay then. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. 
What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Okay, this slides a bunch of stack books and box of cross shelf. Migma. You bring Migma, right? Uh sometimes. Migma is one of those things where you can admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How do you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's good when written on your face. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, I see. There's a long volume on Mi'kmaq. Ad Advocates? Wait, is that a word? Is that even a word? <laughs> a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out on the stock. There it is! Miss touches that in my hand. She then turns a, turn, turns to a she then turns to a box of Megma and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, it's not too bad. Seeing a box of the one book missing is probably the most entertaining sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the books that she's admiring. Perfect girls? It's a series I never had in my life. That probably means it's the other way around, right? Demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Let me tell you one thing, Monia. You should just let... Don't judge a book. Don't judge a book by its cover! Is that what you mean? In fact, that's like he pulls a box volume and puts the glass in the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She sells the book right into my hands. Uh, stare at the cover. You can just four girls in the cover. Is it four of you girls? Don't just stand there. Ooh, ah. This thing grabs my arm and pulls me out of the court. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the women's doors. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling them to sit down. One chair's be more comfortable. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't wait on the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's supposed to be close together like this. <laughs> Don't just say that. You make me feel weird about it. And he crosses her arms and scooches it. <laughs> it's from work for me. Sorry. Didn't expect anything. Exactly expect me sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a pretty really bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds for now. So he once again inches closer. The killing inch of space while she hopes I won't notice. I can't feel it purring over my shoulder. It's much more. Oh, I, I misclicked. I didn't finish reading the whole thing. Wow, how this thing has been since I've been reading the beginning. Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the little volumes every now and then? Not really. Even sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happened yet, so I can't talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. I think we'll slide off the affair. I kind of grew out of these things since it's really hard to find the material enough to be able to apply it. Wow, you are adorable. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! You know, you just watch me read. Well, I'm fine with that. You say so. Wait. I'm expecting something to happen at this scene, so get ready. <laughs> I guess that's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I can put some of your friends to pick up series I enjoy. You know what I mean? I put the question mark. Hmm? You don't. Um. Whoa, that eye movement. Okay. That scared me. That scared me a little bit. That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Do you share your manga with your friends? Can you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. I could never get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Can't even pick it up without them being all like, "Hey, you still haven't grown out yet, you know, aren't they?" Then you want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it doesn't take a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Plus, those who are also into it. Wait, did your eyes move? 
or that was my or that was my eyes actually like sometimes you look away and like like you see something move like you see something move but it didn't really move itself if you know what I'm talking about I'm already kind of a loser so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers of time but it's probably harder for someone like you mm. yeah that's pretty accurate wait which part I mean I feel like I can't even keep in my own room my dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this at least it's safe here in the club room tipped Monica's kind of jerk by it Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it's probably been it. I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. At least you're enjoying yourself, right? Da da da. Da da da. So? Question mark. Ha <laughs> ha Jeez. Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Time passes. She's just really quiet now. I glance over her. Looks like she's t starting to fall asleep. Hey, not Zuki. Yeah? So he only glances straight into me. Hey, hey! Oh. Oh, jeez. Zuki, are you okay? Here. I should just do it back for what's like that. Protein bar. Protein bar? What? Oh. She doesn't know so each direction. I guess I suddenly light up again. She touches the bottom floor and nearly tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give. Mm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before she said You know what's scary about this part? That there's no music playing. That's. She doesn't even finish her sentence before she suddenly enters my mouth. Don't worry, Demonia. She's fine. It's just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a stack in my back for her. Anyway, why do we all share our poems now? Wow. Okay, I thought the music sounded different for a moment. It's almost like it didn't recognize it. Do I want to continue? Okay, okay. I'll read one poem, then I'll stop here. I'm gonna read Monica's, because Monica, she. Actually, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I wanted to know I'm putting an effort. Hi, Demonia. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, do you have any interest in the club? Like, activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring those afraid things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Demonia. We are all a little embarrassed today, you know? It, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll have to all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. You're right, then I hope. Hmm, I like it, Demonia. Really? It's like you didn't expect it. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something else we could write. And she's a good writer, too. So I think that is the compliment. Did I say compliment? <laughs> I meant compliment. Haha, <laughs> if you say so. Yep. You're sure not Zuki, and I'll just keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Haha. <laughs> and Zuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or. Leave her, leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her hydration is interfering with her excess growth. But hey, some guys aren't to pity girls too, you know? So I try to look at the bright side. Anyway, do I read my phone now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. So I'm pretty confident of someone who claims to not be very good. Oh, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I'll always feel that way, you know? I see. 
Oh, it's really bad. Okay. All went well, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I fiercely glanced at my surroundings. But my bright eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on the flat sheets of paper? The sound of it is slowly playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crackle, closing in, closing in on me. The air I breathe is spiced before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. He's right there. He's right there. As long as I British my pen. Wow, that's a short poem you have here. I expect to be a wander. So, what did you think? Mm, that's very, very form. That's what you tell it. So, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of how I've gotten pretty popular nowadays. There's a lot of poems that make funny and sleep on the time between words and lines. What about poem not loud? It can be really powerful. What was the question behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of a beanie or something? What does that mean? Look up later, I guess. It's been influencing my poems a bit. And it's me? What? What does that What does that mean? Hold on, give me a second. I don't know what that means. Manufactured of Christ to the gentles gentles as respected by the Mingo. Oh. Okay. Give me this stuff like me. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of a strong link. But yeah, there's always better friends with each other. Anyway, here's my guess to writing a tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets to fix it at a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just push yourself to get something down, pay much you'll have later. What do you think about this? If you keep your pen in the same spot too long, it's just time to get a big dark paddle of ink. So you can just move your head and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for the advice. That was an interesting one. That was, that was an interesting one, actually. I did say I was going to stop here. But, but since things are getting so interesting, I might as well continue. Okay, Yori. Here's the the poem. When it passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry. I've got to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? Excuse me again. Oh, God, dude. This is bad for me. I'm just making sure. I guess that might be... After reading through it, oh, so it's that bad. No, did I just read my voice? Oh, I'm sorry, so sorry. Here's the face in her hands. Could have but noticed that so several minutes we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take a year a while to get used to new people. It's fine, didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that those pick writing habits are usually typical of new writers. I've been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up my own rhythm. I think the most important thing I recognize as new writers is that they, that they try to make their style very typical. In other words, they tend to pick up writing style that's separate from the topic and matter, and they form a fit the two together. The end result is that both that the style and expression is not weakened. Once your finds a train of thought, it has, it's as if her very tone changes. Her stammering completely is gone, she becomes like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. Now, the is so different. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing them in the poem. <sighs> Not just finding them and building them and putting them. But getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice. You know, learning by example and just trying to try new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. I'm super to be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well. Never mind. Should be talking about people. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you have to apologize for yourself to me or to not to you. Do I read a poem now? Please do. Let me just share my thoughts about this. What's behind it? Shreem Mariana. It's a very, very, very kind of name for her. Put yourself 
Club Scout. Fun. After all, isn't this supposed to be a larger club? Ghost under the light. What music is that? I don't like that music. Okay. The the tenors of my or illuminate beneath the amber glow. Batting. It must be this one. The last being straight light to have would stand the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by sticking in blue green. Your future. I bathe, clean while you are living, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Interesting poem. I I'm sorry, I'm such a terrible writer. What? I wasn't gonna get that at all. It really took a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like the poem, even though it's short, but it was really just pretty. It wasn't too short. I totally write long poems. Not at all. I'm really gonna like it. I'll be honest. This is the most first time sharing. I want to write something a little more mild. So nearly so easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost yarn? Hmm. <laughs> Actually, the story is about the ghost. I don't know him yet. Really? I look to the missed point. Uh, well, I suppose you did only put some words after all. I remember that. Poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, expresses in their work. They usually do more than just tell a simple story or a paint on a chair. picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is really being considered to bear the ghost. I'm looking at another class from any place in the cupboard. I'm going to let it go of the past. Soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot of more than putting that way. I haven't really thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy when you think that. Just minute will be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Guess I'll have to keep trying. Counting on you. One more poem. That's on Natsuki. Uh, okay, well, let's start with things I don't like. First of all, um... First of all... Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. And uh, then what's the point of showing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Eek. In fact, you know how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when you were writing this. I wanted to have you feel comfortable and not share yours. Like, come on, this it. You, well, I wouldn't be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem you can go, ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real life looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? <laughs> That's what you're saying. Gets caught in your throat. You, your soul. You just. You don't understand me, do you? I really told you that you don't have to go endorsing it to the world like. Oh, wait. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I just think I missed something myself. I was thinking really. Must really hate me or something. <laughs> I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still gonna show yours, right? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make it if I don't. Urgles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That was a short poem. Yeah, I told you anyone would like it. I like it? What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because... <sighs> Stuff like that. Everyone in the high school thinks that I'm writing this to be all spinning and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems to be able to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less fun. Yes, exactly! I like what you do read, but you do hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about civil writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like a cell phone ring at the, at the end, 
but then make it flat, flat on purpose. I almost forgot to fill in the last line. I did. I guess more ones here, but I realized that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you looked something. Did you expect that from the youngest one, did you? Yes. Yeah. Guess not. I decided to remember the last comment. I really. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if that's just feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew. There's a second one. Puts on the room. I was a little stressful and expensive. I think everyone's just judging me on their own handling abilities. Even though they're just being nice, they don't worry about them since they're not from theirs. That was weird. This is much cold after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up doing myself into. After I crossed the room, my mind sent me in the right book. My eyes laid on Yuri's Natsuki. They really exchanged sheets of paper, exchanged books, took the poems. As they made the tunnel, the reach of their extension changed. The dog was very frustrating. Well, our name smiles. It's a piece of language. Eh? Hey, she says no, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. So, um. I'm actually liking this so far. It's getting even worse and worse by bits. And I expect when I come back to this recording of this game, things will start to go back again at the beginning. But, yes. That'll be all. So, thank you much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Join me on Game and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.